You're listening to Soulful Entrepreneurs Unleashed with Cass Duffhill, and I'm determined to show you that you can be a heart-led entrepreneur and create a wildly abundant business. Whether you're a seasoned entrepreneur or just starting out, I'll share with you a unique blend of simple, soulful marketing and revenue-generating business tips so you can grow a lasting legacy beyond the constraints of one-to-one. Welcome to Soulful Entrepreneurs Unleashed. Hi, everyone, and welcome. This is Cass Tuffell. You're here for another episode of Soulful Marketing Unleashed. Thank you so much for joining me. On today's episode, I want to talk to you about the three fundamental building blocks that I have discovered over the years that create a successful business. These are the three pillars of everything that I do in my business. They are also the three pillars that I teach my clients in my one-to-one work and mentoring. And I think it's very important that as soulful business owners, you learn and understand what these are so you can start implementing these into your business as well. So today we are going to be diving into each of these. I'll be giving you some tips and ideas and some advice on how you can start implementing each of these right away in your business. So let's get into it. For me, I find there are three fundamental building blocks, three fundamental foundations to a business. And for me, these are mindset, marketing, and monetization. And those of you who have worked with me at a one-to-one basis know that these are the three areas that we cover in detail in every single business. So let's walk through each of those. Let's start with mindset. Mindset is a really important part of building a business in so many different ways. The first thing I'd like to say on this is that it really is okay to be a healer or a helper and to make an abundant income doing so. You are helping people, you are serving and you're making an impact, you're making a difference. You are transforming people's lives and that deserves to be remunerated. It deserves an income that aligns with your time, your skill, your value. See? So first up, let's shine a light on this one. It is okay as a healer or a helper to earn an abundant income. You are offering value. You are offering transformation. You are offering help and service to people who need it. So it is okay for you to make income from your business. And let's be honest, that is the whole point of running your business. If you are not making an income, then why are you doing it? The second element under mindset that I teach all of my one-to-one clients is how to think like a CEO. Coming from corporate, I came from big corporate brands like McDonald's, Vodafone, Toyota, and they have strategy nailed. They have strategy and marketing down pat. One thing that I brought from that corporate world that's been very influential as an entrepreneur is the ability to think like a CEO. Now, this means when we're looking at our business from a CEO perspective, we are taking a step back, we're taking emotion out of it, and we're looking at our business in a very rational way, and we're making strategic decisions. We're not continuing with offers or clients that don't serve us or don't add to the bottom line of the business. We are working in areas that we're passionate about that light us up, and that are also profitable for the business. So when you are thinking like a CEO, you are able to make decisions for your business that are going to enable it to grow, that are going to enable it to scale. And that is how you can build a resilient business that lasts the test of time. The next element of mindset is to be able to embrace a growth mindset. This is something that a number of people in our realm need to work on a little bit. We have come through qualifications and training that teach us the epitome of our success is full books in a one-to-one model. That's all we're trained in. And frankly, we're not even trained well by the schools and colleges we come out from in terms of business. We know our modality. We know that inside out, but we're not taught how to create and grow a business When we are taught that a one-to-one model and full books 
is the epitome of success. There is no room for growth there. You're not taught a growth mindset. You will forever have a glass ceiling that you cannot reach over because there are only so many hours in a day and only so many clients that you can see. To be able to grow and create the type of business and the impact that you want to make, you need to look at how you can grow this business. How can you scale it? How can you help more people with the time that you have? So being able to have a very expansive mindset is really important. And along with being you know, very expansive and having that growth mindset, you also need to be positive. You also need to be very focused and you also need to be resilient. Growing a business, running a business as an entrepreneur is not easy. Let's not pretend that it is. There's ups and there's downs and you need to be able to ride those waves successfully and be able to keep going through the tough times. So if you can be very positive and very focused, I often talk about it in terms of knowing where you want to be. You're aiming for that. You have goals. You have actions to follow, putting the blinkers on and just staying the course. You know where you're heading. One thing that entrepreneurs in our realm as healers and helpers and soulful, heart-centered people are really, really good at is dreaming. We have such big ideas and amazing dreams. We want to help so many people and we want these wildly successful businesses. But the one thing that lets us down is the ability to turn those dreams into goals because it's the goals that actually make it happen for you. So you need to be able to turn your dreams into goals by creating action steps. So what's going to be involved in making each one of those amazing dreams that you have come true? Another element and the final element of mindset is the ability to visualize your success. Just as an athlete will visualize themselves running across the finish line and and winning a race, as an entrepreneur, you need to be able to visualize the finish line as well. You need to be able to see where you want to go. You need to be able to aim for it and work towards it meticulously until you achieve it. So as far as mindset goes, uh, I'd really like for you to consider all of these points that I've discussed, the ability to be able to make an abundant income. Do you feel that that's possible or not possible as a healer or a helper? Do you think like a CEO or are you making decisions for your business based on emotions or other factors? Do you have a growth mindset or do you need to create that? Are you positive? Are you focused? So think about all of these areas that I've mentioned and it's a great idea to brainstorm these and journal them and have a look at where you might be able to improve. The second area we're going to talk about today is marketing and you all know I love marketing. So the second pillar in my world of creating a successful business is marketing. There's a few elements that are important in marketing. The first one is getting the right offers. You can have the best offer with the worst marketing and you won't be able to sell it to anybody or you could have the worst offer with the best marketing and you still won't sell it to anybody so you need an alignment you need the offer to be right you need to be offering what your ideal client really needs and then you need to be able to back that with the right messaging so your ideal client can see it and align with it more than messaging though you also need to be able to show up in the right channels Are you in the right places so your ideal client and your target market can find you? And are you being consistent? Being consistent in marketing isn't about just your to-do list. It's so much bigger than that. It's about showing up for your audience in the ways that you say you're going to. If you say that you're going to send a regular email, do it. If you say you're going to put out a regular podcast episode, do it. It shows your integrity. It shows your reliability. And it's very, very important that you become consistent in your marketing. Another element you missed is the audience. When it comes down to hitting your revenue goals, the truth of it is business really is a numbers game. 
And it all comes down to numbers. It comes down to conversion rates. So the more people in your target audience, the better. You can get better conversion rates. You'll grow better revenue in your business. So you need to align with growing an audience. And that needs to become part of your marketing strategy. Think about this for a minute. Where is your audience coming from? How are you reaching out to these people? How are you connecting with these people? Now, an audience is not the number of followers you have on a social media platform. That is not actually your audience. Your audience is those people who are aligned and engaged with you. I like to think of them as the people who might be in your free Facebook group that you're chatting to on a daily basis, the people on your email list who are interested in opening your emails. It could be the people who have signed up and come to your masterclasses or your challenge. So you're looking for those people who are engaged with what you're doing. They are the right audience and you need to be focusing in your marketing on actually growing your audience. It's not a matter of wait and see or hope and pray. I'll put that lead magnet out there and just hope somebody downloads it. It's about having those elements like your lead magnet and strategically sharing it as a way to grow your audience and grow your email list. The other side of growing an audience is lead generation. Lead generation isn't luck, it's planning. So it's a matter of getting people into your world, getting them into your audience, and then working with them to find out who is aligned with you that you could work with, who can become a lead in that audience. Again, it's not a matter of luck. And bringing all of these people into your audience and just hoping that a few will turn up and work with you. It's about connecting with them. It's about starting conversations. It's about getting to know them and seeing who is aligned with what you do. Underpinning all of that is actually having your offer right. So as I said in the beginning, your offer needs to be spot on. If your offer is not right, it won't sell. It doesn't matter how much value you put into it. It doesn't matter how much you discount it. There is nothing that can save a bad offer. Make sure your audience is getting what they want from you in the offers that you're making. Have a look at your marketing foundations, your messaging, your channels, your consistency. Look at your audience. Look at the numbers on your list. Is it growing? Is it stagnant? Do you have a process in place to grow your audience? What about lead generation? Do you have a strategy for lead generation in your business? If not, there are things that you can start to work on right now. Third pillar in my successful business formula is monetization. And I know as healers and helpers, anything with the word money or profit in it is often a dirty word, but it's not. You are running a business. You're a business owner. You're a CEO of your own business. So you need to be thinking about the money that your business is bringing in. The first step to getting the monetization pillar right is getting your business model right. Your business model has to be right for you and right for your client. It needs to be right for your life and your responsibilities. The business model you have is not going to be the same as somebody else's in your niche and that's perfectly fine because your needs and the needs of your clients are going to be unique. If you can be really clear about your revenue goals and how you want to achieve them, you can build this into your model and work out how you're going to hit those targets. I do think also it's important to diversify your revenue streams, okay? Don't put all your eggs in one basket. You've heard that before. It really is true. If you can have different revenue streams coming into your business, you might have one-to-one clients, you might offer programs, you might have packages. Perhaps you add DIY services, digital download products, passive or recurring revenue streams. There's a whole range of different things you could add to your business model that could bring revenue in to your business. The next element you need to look at in monetization is your pricing strategy. The prices that you offer, is it aligned with what you want to achieve? Does it align with your ideal client? Does it work for them? Does it represent value? It really needs to offer value to your clients to be able to be sold. If it doesn't represent value to them, they won't buy it. 
So having your pricing strategy right and aligned with your business model is really important. The next element of monetization is, is it scalable? Can the offers that you have in the business model that you run grow with you over time? Can it take you beyond the one-to-one glass ceiling into the revenue that you want to earn? I know from working with so many healers and helpers now that many of you have really great big goals for your revenue and that's amazing. But I also know that many of you don't want to work full-time in one-to-one clients and I totally understand that after doing six days a week myself, fully packed days, I totally understand I don't want to be doing that either. So in your weekday where you want to only work two or three days with your one-to-one clients, there is a revenue ceiling there that you are going to be capped at. So how are you bringing in the rest of the revenue that you want to earn? Your options are all of those other amazing things, packages, programs, DIY, digital downloads, passive income, recurring income, all of those amazing things that you could be adding to grow your business model beyond what you can be doing in a one-to-one capacity. So your action point on monetization, I'd like you to sit down and have a think about how your business is monetized right now. Is it scalable? Can it reach the revenue targets that you actually want to reach? If not, what needs to change for you to be able to hit those targets? Now, I know today I've delved into some fairly deep context around mindset, marketing, and monetization, which for some of you might feel a little bit deep, but these really are the foundations of growing a successful business and a successful business for a soulful entrepreneur. A business is a business. It doesn't matter that we come from a heart space. We still need to be making those revenue targets and making the income and the impact that we long to make. The only way that will happen for you is if you plan for it. And that's what this episode today has been all about. So you can start to put your thinking caps on and work out where there are gaps in your current business that you can start to fill with the knowledge I've just given you today. So I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If this is something that is of interest to you, check out the show notes and for some more resources. I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Soulful Marketing Unleashed. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening to Soulful Entrepreneurs Unleashed. If you are ready to create soulful success in your business, grab my guide to soulful revenue creation and start creating your wildly abundant life. Thanks for being here and I'll see you in the next episode.